Hello, my name's Alex Beckett and I'm here to talk to you today about the new LLFX Lux Compositor. What Lux Compositor lets you do is add the most amazing sun flares to your images. It allows you to build your own flares so that they can be exactly what you wanted when you took the photo. Let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is come into Lightroom and add or import the LLFX Lux Compositor presets. You do the plus button here, import presets. And then what you need to do is go and find your Lux Compositor, uh, which should be a zip file that you've downloaded from our website here, and just hit the import button. Lightroom does its thing. And what you should find in a few seconds is two different folders appearing down the left hand side. Here we go. So we have the Lux Compositor for horizontal images and the Lux Compositor for vertical images. The reason there's two different packs here is because of the way that Lightroom handles um, brush-based presets, which means that if you apply horizontal um, presets to vertical images, they might look a bit squished and the same the other way around. So always make sure you're using the horizontal images pack for horizontal images and the vertical images pack for vertical images. So let's get started with this one here. Here's the quick before and after, and I'll show you how I got there. This is an amazing image from uh, Joni Burt, uh, a maternity based image. And you can see that what she originally got was shooting through into the sun. And it's really important in these images that when you're applying these, you actually have the light in the right place already. If you don't, it will look a little bit fake. But this, this image from, from uh, Joni, you can see that the light is coming through the trees, but it's just not quite flaring in the way that you might hope it would do. So quick before and after there. So let me show you how we went about getting there. So let me just reset this image. So I'll go to the brush, brush presets here and delete all masks. So this is a horizontal image, obviously. So I open out the horizontal ones. And when you get to here, you'll find there's a few different sections. The first section is recipes. These are kind of predefined looks with a bunch of different parts of the flare put together. Um, so you can see this one here from Joni. You can see a bunch of other ones from other images. So a good thing to do to start with is have a quick look through and see if any of those suit your images. Now, recipe 1L here is actually the recipe that we're probably gonna to aim towards, but I'm gonna show you how to, how to go about creating that. So after the recipes, we then have the ingredients of this pack. And what we have is we have washes. Washes are just blocks of color that, and blocks of light that come from different sides, the center, left and right. We then have suns. So these are individual sun flares and they're what you want your sun to look for, like. And they, at number one, start off very soft. And by the time we get to number eight, they're a lot harder. They're a lot spikier in what they look like. We then have rays, um, different, um, sorry, sun rays. These are suns that are made up of different rays as their constituent parts. And I'll show you through that later. Um, we then have individual rays. And do you see the little kind of slash here? That denotes which way they're going. So we've got rays coming from left to right here. We've got rays coming from top to bottom here. Uh, rays going straight across that way and rays going from right to left in this one. And then we have different flare elements as well coming from left and right. So that's the different things we've got. So this one, let's start off with a sun. And I am gonna have a quick look through the suns as to which sun I think is gonna look the best with this image. Now, obviously the first thing to say is these suns as we're looking through are in the wrong place. Don't worry about that. We'll move it to the right place later on. But let's have a look through and see which ones we like. So we've kind of got different styles getting a little bit harder, a little bit harder. Well, actually, yeah, I quite like number six. You see how it's quite spiky? Now it's in totally the wrong place. So I'm gonna click on it. And then I'm gonna come across to the, the brush uh, panel here. So it's this little icon on the right, hit that, and you'll see that we have Lux Compositor Sun 6. So if I click on this, I then get this little paintbrush and I can click on that and I can drag it to where I wanna go. So I'm gonna put it on top of the previous sun. There we go. So if I just quickly show you, uh, I can use this little um, eyeball here to show you it with and without. So without, with. And you can see it just adds a little bit more sun coming from, from where I think it wants to come to. The next thing I think we want to add is some rays coming in here. So I'm going to look through the rays. Now, from this image, I probably want rays left to right. So I'm going to hit rays left to right. And what we'll notice to the side here is a whole bunch of rays have come in. 
Again, they're in the wrong place and there's probably too many for what we want. So what we're now going to go through is with each of these pins, find the ones that we think are going to look best. So let me, you, what you'll notice here is we've got a bunch of different ones. Uh, that go from very fine rays, like this one, which I'm going to leave in there, to this one here, which has a kind of V type shape with different rays coming out of it. I generally love that one there as well. So let's have that coming kind of through the clouds there. We've then got this kind of really skinny ray. That's cool. And then we've got these big rays as well. I don't know if I want these big rays or not. Maybe I do. Maybe that coming out of there, just across her face will look really good. Um, I don't think I want this really massive ray. So if I don't want it, I'm just gonna click on it and you can see it's ray large there and I'm just gonna delete it out. So when you add in the rays, don't use them all. Um, less is more with all of these things, less is more. So just pick the ones that you really want and you think look the best. Uh, let me just have a quick move of these around, see, see if I have got this exactly as I want it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat the sun up a little bit, because I want it coming actually a little bit higher and across, just hitting the mum's back there. Actually, let's have a quick look, let's have that coming through. I think this needs to go a little bit lower. There we go. Might actually take this big ray out. Let me just turn it off and see. I'll leave it in for now. I might get rid of it later on. Next thing, I think we probably want some flares going on here as well. So I'm gonna add in a few different flares. Um, so we've got different ones here. Now, the flares are right and left variety. You'll see there's right and left of each one. Now, with this image, if you look, the, the main kind of blank area here is on the right. So I think we, we want some, some right flares. So I'm just gonna add quickly flare five right, which is this one here. And I'm just going to drag it down because I think it would naturally be coming in down about there-ish. And then we'll pro try probably flare four. Oops, I just hit the wrong one there. It's not the left one we want, it's a right one. Flare four right. Perfect. There we go, let's pull that in. And maybe I'll just pull that. You know what, I'm just going to have that on her face a little bit, just coming across there. So it's kind of like... Yeah, I like that, I think. And yeah, let's try getting rid of this flare again. There we go. Let's pull that up there. Let's actually have that go a bit there. And there we go. I think we're starting to get there with that. The only thing is I'm just going to adjust the sharpness on that just so we don't lose sharpness on her face. And there we go. So this is my mix for now. You can see that's the before and that's the after. And obviously you can play around with this a lot more, take things in and out. Actually in hindsight, I think I'm gonna lose this little flare as well. This little ray, sorry, I think that's too much. Let's try that. Yeah, I think that's good. So let me show you another one quickly. Let me show you another one where we want probably less, less is more on this one. Um, so this is a, a gorgeous image by Monica Frias. Um, and this probably doesn't need any sun, but you can see there is light coming in through here. So I might, might see what we can do on this one, maybe adding a little bit of flare. So first thing to note is I am currently on the horizontal images section. So these, if I put them on, will look misshapen and a bit weird. You can see here that it's, it's an oval shape, the sun, rather than being a round shape. So we need to go to the vertical images. Right, now let me take a look again at the different suns or things that we can have. Uh, coming in through the window. Oh, again, quite like the Sun 6. I'm going to use Sun 6 again for this one. And we can pop that coming in through the window there. Rays, again, from this time, we probably want right to left, so let's add in the rays. Now, I probably don't want very much in the way of rays here, so I'm actually going to delete most of them. What I'm going to leave us is just a kind of really kind of strong, small ray coming in. Do I want that one as well? Maybe I'll leave it for now. And then some um, flares. Let's have a look at some flares. Maybe. We will probably want left flares this time that are going to be coming down there. So let's have a look and see what we've got. Oh, yeah, that's just really subtle. Let's add in that little subtle there. 
And the first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take over here the white balance down a little bit on it and some of the color out of it. So I think it's probably a bit too yellow for this image. So take that out a little bit. Then I'll maybe add in uh, four. Uh, let's look. Yeah, add another one there. So we're just kind of layering these flares on top of each other. And again, let's take the, the yellow out of it a bit because it's a bit too much for this image. And I'm going to do the same for these, actually, just take some of that yellow out. Too yellow for this image, so we just take that down with all of these. So let's have a quick look at the rays. Yeah, very medium. Let's take that one down as well. I think that's looking a lot better there. And the sun, let's take some of the yellow out of the sun as well. There we go. Now if I close this down, let's see. Before, after. Just that little kick of sun coming in through the windows. Let me show you on a landscape image quickly. So here. Now, first question to you, is this with added flare or without? Does it look real? To me, I think it actually looks really real, but let me show you. It's actually uh, fake and added in. So let me show you again how we went about getting that one. This one's only got two simple ones. It's got flare five bright and, and the sun five. But let me, let me add them in quickly and show you. So we want sun five. If we look at this one, this is quite a big sun. So I'm gonna add this. Oh, I've just noticed it's squished. Why is it squished? Because I am using the vertical section. So horizontal section, five left. Oh, actually the whole recipe, but that actually looks really good in its own right. Uh, but let's go and do the sun separately. Flare five right, sorry, sun five right. Pop that in coming over there. And then maybe let's add in a little bit of flare as well. Maybe five right as well. We can add that coming through there. We could also add some rays and some washes on this one if we wanted to, but again, Less is more, I always think, with these things. It just makes it look a lot more believable when you have slightly less. So that's a quick introduction to the Looks Like Film um, ingredients pack, as I like to call it, or the Lux Compositor. Do reach out to us if you have any problems or any questions on how these work. We do also have a plugin that you can use with these as well to help turn them if you need to or change their size or opacity. I'll do a quick video on that in a minute so as you can see how that works. But this is the first quick, how do you use it using these things here? Have fun playing with it. I really cannot wait to see what images you lot all come out with. Everybody in the community is so talented and I cannot wait to see what people make of this pack. Thank you.